In order to survive the movie business long term, oh. um, how essential is it for an actor to also write, direct, and produce like you're doing? Um, to keep that career going. In my opinion, incredibly essential. Acting's a tough gig, man. It's hard. I have so much respect for my friends that are actors and they have representatives and they go out on those auditions but you're waiting for somebody to pick you that's yeah, tough it's just tough you know you're waiting for somebody to pick you so that they can tell their vision and I know people that make a lot of money and they're doing something you know on television or in film they make a ton of money but they're bored really because they're just not enjoying the stories that are out there play the same character yeah. seven eight nine ten years you know you're making a ton of money but you're not really you don't feel creative anymore you know and it's like and then the problem with that especially if it's in television is you do TV and you do a show and it lasts 10 years and then it's over. And then you go off and you're like, all right, I'm free. I want to do this. And they go, no, but you're the guy from that show. So we don't want the guy from that show in our film. It's like, now you're that guy. You know, how long do you have to be that guy before people realize you're not that guy? That's a made up guy and you can do other things. It's tough. It's very, very tough. What I learned or discovered in writing was that I could create my own vision and I could take full responsibility for it and I could create whatever I wanted to create now that comes with disadvantages you know money is not going to come first when you do it that way you're going to be up against different obstacles but they're all obstacles like it's either I'm either trying to find a way to make it work for a little bit of money or I'm sitting around staring at a phone that's not ringing. They're both hard, you know? But the end game is what I think you always have to be mindful of. Like, what do you want? And I think if you really wanna show your artistic nature and you really wanna showcase yourself in the best light and what you do well, I think, you know, get out there and make your own stuff and if you don't have that if you don't feel like you have that then like you know team up with people that do and 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 make a team and you know the three four or five of you together create something that's uniquely your own the tribe find yeah. your tribe yeah find your folks go find your folks it's hard you know there's people out there that have been represented for years and they haven't worked there's people out there that are brilliant and they don't have representation it's very difficult, but anybody can post stuff on YouTube. Anybody can go on Twitter and start building an audience for themselves. And now apparently they're looking for that. I just read a thing the other day, casting directors, they care more about your Twitter following than they do about your talent. <laughs> you know, if you're an actor, that's like getting punched in the balls. You know what I mean? It's terrible. But it's a reality of how it works. So how do you combat, how do you do that? How do you combat that? Like how do you become the guy that's got enough Twitter followers if you're sitting around waiting for your phone to ring and you're waiting for somebody to pick you? You gotta start doing something. You gotta get up and do it. It's different, it's a different world. You used to be able to like pitch and wait. You could go in and be like, this is great. Oh yeah, it sounds awesome. Here's a check, let's see how it turns out. Those days are gone days are gone you can buy a camera that can create visuals that can be put on a screen theatrically and it'll cost you two grand people are out there shooting movies man it's about shooting show now money doesn't come first now now you got to show what you can do you got to go out there you got to shoot something and make it great for nothing and then say here's what I did so that you're not saying we have a lot of interest. You want to be, <laughs> you got to show people. Like, what do you do? What's your latest script? Latest script? Check out my flick. Look at the movie. Whoa. Yeah. Now, what do you think I could do if I had 10 grand more, 50 grand more, 100 grand more? 
shooting show. What have you learned is the biggest, uh, some of the biggest budget wasters? Because you, you know, you're talking about some of the, the budgets you were working with, and uh, where have you kind of reined back? You know, my budgets are so tiny. <laughs> there really is not a whole lot to waste on mine. Um, but I think, I think the best thing, the best thing, the, be the hardest thing is time, managing the time. You know, because when you're doing something for so little, everybody's got to love it. It's got to be about passion, but you also can't sit around wasting your time. You can't waste their time. People are coming to you and they're bringing you great stuff so that you can make this movie. You owe it to them to know what the hell you're doing. At least know what the hell you want. You can't sit around and be like, I don't know, should I shoot the, I don't, I don't. Prepare, know what you want, you know. Woody Allen says, if you're the writer of the story, you already know what you want the audience to see. So, as a director, I try to figure that out, know what it is. When people come in, we hit the ground running. I'm not here to waste your time. I'm here to facilitate you having fun and having your passion get displayed. So let's get to it. Let's make it happen. Let's do it. And then you can go home and pet your cat. Do whatever you do. <laughs> Come back. We'll do it again later. But yeah, timing. Really, timing. Giving people the time to do what they do best, but not wasting time trying to figure out how it's going to do. Do all that work ahead of time.